picture this. You won the bid, you've got the house, you're super excited, you celebrate, and then you go to bed and you wake up at three o'clock in the morning and you start panic. You're having what we call buyer's remorse. And that is the last thing we want anyone to have when they're purchasing the next house they're gonna to move to. So here are five strategies that we use to help our buyers avoid the panic and fear of buyer's remorse. So stay tuned. make sure you do is set and keep to a concrete budget, whether that's talking to your lender and finding what you're pre-approved for or what you feel comfortable with, or even if you're paying cash, set your budget. And then we encourage buyers, if they are looking in a really competitive market area or price, to look at homes that are a little bit less than their budget so that they have the ability to offer more in these multiple offer situations. So set that budget and stick to it because Believe me, it's way worse to have a house that you can't afford versus going and walking away from one that you really did love. The next is to prioritize your non-negotiables. There are certain things that you absolutely have to have. Maybe that's a master on the main. Maybe it's a proximity to a job. Don't compromise on those non-negotiables. Write them down. We call it needs and wants. Write down the needs, the things that you absolutely have to have or you will not buy the house. And then the wants and the nice to have. Don't be tempted to buy a house that doesn't meet your non-negotiable needs. Stop looking at houses after your offer is accepted. It's too easy to start second guessing what you did if you keep being out there in the market. And the fourth thing is, I really feel you, you need to trust your gut. I see this in the buyer's eyes all the time. They walk in the house and they, I can just tell them they're trying to rationalize why they like this house. I see it right away and point out and say, this guys, this isn't really what you told me you wanted, or I'm not sensing any excitement in your voice. You're actually trying to rationalize. Well, I think this will work. So trust your gut and also choose an agent who's going to listen to what you want in the beginning and try to help you get there in the end and not just kind of push you into buying a house just to, to have you buy a house. So we're very committed on making sure that you love where you live. And there's many, many times where we tell our buyers, this isn't the right house for you and let's keep looking. So trust your gut and trust your agent. And then last but not least, secure your peace of mind. When they did a study, 44% of buyers actually do have some buyer's remorse. It's kind of normal. It's a lot of money. You've got different things that we can build into the contract, different contingencies. And if that's something that you need for your peace of mind, make sure you tell us or you tell your agent that you need these due diligence and different contingencies so that you can feel comfortable when you sleep in your new house. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Coffee with Connie. This is a series where we answer lots of real estate questions, introduce you to buying homes in the Cobb County and surrounding area, and just try to make your life a little easier. Have a great day and thanks for watching.